And we've been following police as they search for possible answers in this highly watched case. WREG's Jordan James joins us live right now from the McDonald's at Perkins and Quince, where officers were earlier in Jordan. Was this in relation to Fletcher's disappearance as well? Hey, Shay, officials have not definitively said yet, but I can tell you it's a very active scene out here right now. I'm going to step out of the way to give you a better look at what we're seeing. There's dozens of members of law enforcement in the parking lot adjacent to McDonald's, some armed with guns. They've been out here over the last few hours. They have been at multiple sites all across the city over the last 48 hours. As Memphis police tells us, they're working around the clock to find Eliza Fletcher. Nearly 48 hours after the abduction of Eliza Fletcher, desperation is setting in across the community. More than anything, we want to see Eliza returned home safely. In their first public appearance, Eliza Fletcher's family pleaded for her return. We believe someone knows what happened and can help. As they called out for assistance, Memphis police announced a person has been detained after he was spotted driving the alleged vehicle used in her abduction. Memphis police aren't saying much about the incident, but reports suggest that the alleged suspect was involved in an accident, resulting in him being taken into custody. Despite recovering the vehicle, Fletcher was not back. Some breaking news this morning. Police in Memphis say they have made an arrest now in connection with the abduction of a local kindergarten teacher. A 38-year-old man named Cleotha Abston was charged with the especially aggravated kidnapping of 34-year-old Eliza Fletcher, who remains missing. This surveillance video shows the moment right before the mother of two was abducted while jogging on Friday. Fletcher was running near the University of Memphis when she was forced into a dark SUV. Investigators continue their search this morning.